children. <laughs> Tears from the crypt. <laughs> Deck the halls with parts of Charlie. Fa la 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 la. Make the Yuletide gross and gnarly. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> oh, hello, creeps. It's me, your favorite holiday spirit. Doing a little cryptmas decorating. Boy, do I love this time of year. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your. Hey, Jack! Get away from me! Hmm. I guess he's off my Christmas chopping list. Which brings to mind tonight's terror tale. It's about two martial artists who do some chopping of their own in a tasteless fright to the finish I call the pit. We're down to the final moments here in this brutal, awesome display of raw power and stamina. Both of these fighters have endured more punishment than the fight that I can remember. A vicious exchange, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe these guys are still on their feet. Will you look at the punishment each one is doing now and the punishment each one is taking? Scott is down by a vicious blow to the head, but he is back up unbelievably. Don't these guys know when to quit? What is their limit? How can they endure this much pain? Another vicious exchange and a crushing reverse kick. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnson comes back with a quick exchange of blows. I've never in all of my years of broadcasting seen anything as vicious and fabulous as this fight. How can any one human being endure this? Oh, and a vicious cross to the face. They're squaring off. Neither one is standing very steadily. Yet they're still viciously fighting it out. Another vicious cross and a counter. Ladies and gentlemen, this can't go on much longer. Neither one has any strength left. Man, that's incredible, don't you think? That really is amazing. Now, since the match was declared a draw, a certain amount of controversy has developed as to how it all went down. I thought it was a good fight. Yeah, it was a, a clean fight. I mean, uh, people got their money's worth. Of course, if I had another round, I would have finished it. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, I had the only knockdown, remember? Yeah. Look, I still had you on point. All right, now, but what about the rumors that uh, sabotage forced the judges to uh, disqualify all weapons during the match? I mean, that could have affected the outcome. Yeah, well. The only person who needed sabotage to help win the fight would be Felix Johnson. You know, that's just the low-class kind of remark you'd expect from someone with Aubrey Scott's background. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Private School. I'd just like to know if either of you ladies ever feel trapped in the shadows of your husbands or if you've ever considered resuming your own careers. Well, as long as promoters are unwilling to pay the same for women's events as they do for the males, I am more than happy to let old Felix here bring home the bacon. <laughs> Amazing, this old cow finally said something I can agree with. I mean, why should we go out and punish ourselves when these guys can make double, triple what we can? Besides, who would pay money to see a burnt-out has-been like Aubrey do anything except maybe rinse her hair to see what color she's using this month? If I hear the name Johnson one more time, I'm gonna personally come down there, dip your face in batter acid, and send pictures to your kids! I don't care how you do it, Lou. All I care about is that Aaron gets this part. You tell those wimpy producers, if they can't make up their puny little minds, I'm gonna pay them a visit and help focus their attention. I don't care if Schwarzenegger wants to bend over for all of them. You'll get Felix that part, or you're gonna be dangling by your you-know-what over Interstate 10 during rush hour. My husband will be the pulverizer, or else. Jesus, Andrea, I'm only eight tenths of a second off my pace. 
I am not willing to concede eight tenths of anything to that slime, Aubrey Scott. Honey? Yeah. I'm gonna slip out for a while. Oh, well. I'm a little slippery right here first. Oh, come on. Aaron, please. Come on, stop it. Come on, come on. Aaron, stop it. Knock it off, you moron! I'm sorry, Aubrey. Look, why don't you order up some room service, watch a little Three Stooges on TV. I'll be back in time to tuck you in, okay? Okay. You hold that thought. Don't start without me, baby. That drama, it's got pathos, not to mention 20 million viewers worldwide. Evander Holyfield versus Mike Tyson live from the Indiana State Prison, what more does he want? Jesus Christ, how the hell did this idiot ever become governor? Just tell me what his favorite perversion is. I'll have it delivered with bells on. No, just call me when it's done. God, am I bored. for this matchup, and we were not disappointed. Take a look at this action. It was wall-to-wall, non-stop, body blows, body slams, killer kicks, just when you thought one had the advantage, here comes the other exploding like a bomb. We knew there was no love between Johnson or Scott, but this is unbelievable stuff. <laughs> It's hard to imagine how one of them was going to beat the other without killing them first. Maybe they're both better off that the match was declared a draw. You know, word out west is that both of these guys are up for the lead in the new 20th century Fox film, Pulverizer. It's supposed to be a war going on between Johnson and Scott's agents as they each try to land the role for their client. Will you tell that slut, Aubrey Scott, that the Pulverizer is an action drama, not a slapstick comedy? But if she's determined on embarrassing her husband, I hear they're casting Police Academy 10. Excuse me. Oh, gosh. Felix Johnson, he couldn't act his way out of a, a locker room towel fight. <laughs> you know, I think the only reason the producers are going through with this whole charade is for publicity. You know, maybe Andrea and Felix have a future in game shows. I don't know. Be careful what you wish for, guys. You just may get it. In other sports, plenty of NFL action for you. In fact, we have Ms. highlights P. from the Ms. game. Miss P, get me Judd Campbell's office in Highwood. I've got a hundred million dollar idea. A Malaysian rules death match. Johnson versus Scott. The match of the century. Chaos in the cage! It's magnificent. <laughs> Is this magnificent? Well, the Romans would surely approve. <laughs> You know, I remember staying up all night watching you when you won the gold medal in Barcelona. I was sure you were going to turn pro after that. In fact, I, uh, I was kind of looking forward to uh, promoting some special events with you. Let me get this straight. You said Malaysian rules? Yeah, no time limit, no restrictions on uh, moves or weapons. Anything goes, you know, until so one man concedes or is rendered uh, totally unconscious. Defined totally unconscious. Kind of like your husband is already. I knew I smelt dead fish in here. <laughs> my, 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 would you look at this. Would you look at this? You're even more beautiful than when I saw you in the Nationals in Minneapolis. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, I remember that night. Felix and I were stranded in a blizzard in Denver. Had to forfeit my match. Lucky break for you, Aubrey. Listen, you bitch, I've already kicked your ass earlier this year in Johannesburg. I had the flu. Well, I'll kick it again right here, right now, unless, of course, you're coming down with something. Are you forgetting Pittsburgh, May 92? No, I remember. 
Heard you only had to fuck, what, two judges to win that one? Oh, you lying whore. I had to rip that ugly wig you call your hair right off your head. You go ahead, baby. You give it your best shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Girls, 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 girls. Let's, uh, let's try and be a gentleman about this, huh? No, uh, we're talking about 30 million pay-per-view subscriptions worldwide. Not to mention the live gate. Not to mention HBO. And the winner of the match will become the new star of the brand new Fox feature, Pulverizer. Now, I just happen to have in my pocket to sign contracts from the uh, Judd Campbell office, guaranteeing the role to the winner. Need I say more? Well, let's get a grip on this, girls. In my scenario, even the loser of the match, and his wife, of course, are gonna walk out of that pit with about $10 million. Now, that's enough dead presidents to make anybody forget about a little old Hollywood premiere, don't you agree? Malaysian death match? How could you agree to that? What's the big deal? It only took you 10 minutes to put Hong Lee on permanent disability last year. Yeah, that's right. But Hong Lee is no Aaron Scott. And besides, the last time me and Felix went at it, the judges called it a draw. <laughs> well, there's not gonna be any draws this time, baby. Listen, that's exactly what I mean. I mean, we're gonna have to hurt each other. Oh, you're gonna have to do more than hurt him. You're gonna have to drop him dead. But I kind of like the guy. He's cool. No, you don't like him, you hate him. He is a piece of gum stuck to your shoe. Listen, honey, even if I lose, I mean, we'll still be richer than God. I don't give a rat's ass about money. I am not about to let this stuck-up Boston bitch. That no-class Texas tramp. 24-karat phony. That trailer park trash. Get one over on me. You're gonna go in there, and you're gonna kick some butt. You're gonna win that match, and get me to Hollywood. Is that clear? Okay, okay, sugar, honey. And here in the Grand Auditorium, Felix Johnson is in the best shape of his career as he continues to train for the long-awaited rematch with Aaron Scott. Now, this will be one of the biggest pay-per-view events in history. Now, if Ortiz continues their present rate, we're looking at an audience of about 50 million people from 40 different countries. <laughs> 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 said you could not put these two fighters together. This is a promoter's dream. I'm... Ladies and gentlemen, amateur hour is over. Say hello to the one, the only, the phenomenal Aaron Scott. Bitch! Merely just a taste of what Felix Johnson will be getting this Friday night. Come on, Felix, be on your off right now. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna rip her heart out. Come on, you chicken shit. I'll take you right now. Come on, you bitch. Let's go right now, right now, bitch. Let's go at me. Trust me, 
folks. You've never seen anything like this before, and you will never see it again. Johnson versus Scott. Chaos in the cage. Don't miss it. Don't you need to get up on that platform? Nope. I'm wondering if coyote dung is a good cactus fertilizer. I grow them, you know. No, I didn't. <laughs> Cactuses. Cacti. I got a whole farm of them over in Arizona. But I got these coyotes shitting all over the place, and if they mess up my crop, I swear I'll single-handedly put the little bastards on the endangered species list. Man's got to have a hobby, right? I mean, can't keep doing this forever, can we? Yeah, it's gonna be a mess, all right. I can handle it. You bet. So can you. You bet. How'd it come down to this, I wonder? I mean, how'd we let it go this far? There's only two reasons I can think of. Both of them female. No turning back now, I guess. Uh, you having second thoughts? Not really. You? No. Guess I'm kind of looking forward to it. Yeah. I guess I am too. I'll take it. Just put it on our bill. Yes. What? That dismal bitch. Done. You can go. What do you think you're doing? What the hell are you doing here? <sighs> you first. I came down to see what a cheat and lowlife scum your husband is. Really? Looks to me like you're the only one doing the cheating lowlife scum thing. Well, rumor has it Felix modified his weapons. Added a few little nasty surprises. You know, you are such a lying sack of silicone. The only surprise going on around here is how you actually thought that you could uh, sabotage his weapons. <laughs> I don't need to sabotage weapons. Felix is a loser. But then again, I guess you'd know that. That's how he ended up with you, isn't it? Funny. 
I don't remember being the uh, loser working in a Cleveland mud wrestling dump. Well, that was just an exhibition. Oh, for two years? You know, Aubrey, I don't really give a shit if Felix gets that job or not. All I care about is that you never see the inside of a movie studio, ever. Well, isn't that a shame? Because as soon as I get done kicking your gold-plated fat ass into the has-been locker room, I'm on the first plane back to L.A. <laughs> Never hit me that hard. Yeah. The last time Arbor used the claws like that, I had to get three stitches on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Producers loved your idea, and they're putting the writers on a first thing tomorrow. Uh, yeah, well, how hard can it be to rewrite a movie script anyway? Hey, besides, I like buddy pictures. Hey, that makes two of us, bruh. I can <laughs> see it all now. The new Newman and Redford, the new Glover and Gibson. We have got Johnson and Scott starring in... The, the Pulverizers! pulverizers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. They're gonna kill each other down there. That's the whole idea, isn't it? <laughs> 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 In the end, the choke was on the girls. Choke hold, that is. <laughs> I don't know about you, kiddies, but my money's on Aubrey. I think she's a little fester to the punch. Well, you know what they say, the scream always rises. <laughs> there, all done. Now I'll have a little eggnog, listen to a few holiday tunes, and wait for Santa Claus to come. Hmm. Maybe I should throw another Yule log on the fire. I wonder how Yule will feel about that. <laughs> 